Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is SP Jackie back again today with another Clash Royale video. And today I'm going to show you an awesome deck which let me into the Royal Arena. The Royal Arena is so awesome for any player if you're in Royal Arena. So let's check out the deck. As you can see, the deck is pretty same in my previous video, but just make, make a few changes, bringing that free spell archers. That's it. So let's do some battle life battle. If you came to know that how the deck works pretty well. So here we are facing Jensen. I got level 8 against level 8. Now I'm playing going with the Spear Goblin. Let's go with the Spear Goblin first. He's placing the Elixir Pump and let's move it with the Skeleton Army. This Skeleton Army plays a vital role if you are placing a Prince or any kind of defense unit or a P.E.K.K.A. which is coming towards you. Now I'm placing the Hog Wider and Free Strategy which works pretty well against any kind of uh, arena. For example, if you are facing barbarians, you can freeze them. If you are facing musketeer, wizard, whatever, you can freeze them very easily. Now, these barbarians are moving towards me and I am literally out of elixir. He's trying to push hard towards my tower by the chance and then moving the bomb um, back on hog wider. As we can see, the giant is pushed back towards my second cannon, but he has this hog wider and a barbarian is going to take my first tower out literally. Like as you can see, he taken my first tower out very well and now I am very much out of elixir. Now I am going to lightning this troll because they are heading, going to do a great damage to my middle tower even. Now he's ahead from my one tower. Now he's trying to do the same again and again. He's bringing the archers from the back and doing the same thing. I came to know that he's trying to do the same thing. Now he's bringing the barbarian. The barbarians are very much dangerous if you don't have fireballs with you because they are going to do great damage to your towers and even your troops. Now he's placing the minion horde and this minion horde I cannot be taken out by the arrows but yes. Now, now you guys can see I am uh, very at a weak position but right now okay he's placing the chance from the back I might be thinking of something bigger. So I place my cannon unless and until the giant will be distracted towards the cannon. Then I was repairing the clear goblins. This is attack was a very chill attack, guys. This attack is very chill right now because he's bringing this hog, and now it's very much heavy on to my second tower. Even because this hog wide is doing excessively damage to my tower, he's trying to arrow my trolls, but the archers are level so ready, man. Now I'm trying to do a spear goblins. So let's release the spear goblins. Wait a second, it's a 60 second time. Let's release the spear goblin and everything from the back, and we will try to push back towards the first tower now we're placing the lightning spell lightning spell deals great damage as in my previous video i said lightning spell did great damage i freeze these barbarians and took in the first tower out literally is going to take the first tower out now arrows these minion hordes and the barbarians are coming towards my tower and the archer is going to play vital role taking the barbarians out very slowly and then placing the cannon to distract the hog wider and the Giant, this hog wider and giant are very dangerous guys. They are the one of the greatest combos. If you check out YouTube videos of mine, they will came to know that this combo is pretty awesome. Right now is ahead from one tower and sticking taking very quick damage to my right left tower also. Now placing back again with the barbarians. And these barbarians are so dangerous, so versatile that they can actually take any kind of troops if they are not counter easily. Because fireballs are the one of the great counter troops against fire barbarians. So if I if you bring fireball that would be great in my next next replay I will bring a fireball so keep it an eye and also I go I'm going to talk about my Patreon account you guys can donate me on Patreon to bring you great stuffs like more Clash of Clans and Clash Royale video you can check the description right below to check the Patreon link and if you love my channel you can actually donate me and help me grow. So one of my friend Exodium is also a great channel. You can actually check out his channel. I'm going to do a shout out of him. And yes, he's a very awesome friend of mine. He's doing great support to my channel. So that's why I'm doing this shout out to him because he's bringing a very good content of Clash Royale and Clash of Clans. So he helped me a lot. He has lots of subscribers even, and you can actually get lots of content from his channel. Right now, he's very much ahead of me in this attack because I just have 13 seconds. I have to defend this 13 seconds, and that would be a draw. And he's trying to push back with a chant from the backside and that was a very wrong decision if you would have done with the left lane and that would have been gone so i freeze this area and that's just two second one second there we are we didn't lose this match but we drove this match right now this match was literally out of my hands but right now we are into the light match so let's replace the freeze with the uh, fireball uh let's go to that you can see uh, let's replace the freeze with the fireball. Maybe the fireball will be a great reason or something like this. So oh, sorry, sorry for that. Let's replace it with a fireball. Okay. Now let's move on to the, another live attack, and we will come to know how the deck works pretty even. So right now we are facing Maha Misala or Milala. Don't know what his name is. So hope level seven player. 
so first going with the spear goblins from the back that would be the best option anytime if you are going to for a push with a hog rider and he's doing the same i'm doing the same again and he's doing the same but my spear goblins are level 7 so pretty immature level he's trying to push with the uh skeleton army and uh, try to oh if he freezes uh, he thought that i don't have arrows but that was a great idea <laughs> giving a laugh so let's push with the archers and the hog rider placing the hog rider from the back and then placing your mini unit that would be a great reason fireballing the tower that was not a great fireball i thought they may, might have had the barbarians had this bomber tower as per the next update bomber tower uh, time has been reduced and now you guys can see i am filling my elixir and elixir trade and also is doing the same i think so He's trying to push back with the hog rider from the back. I'm going with the spear goblins first, then the cannon, placing the cannon to distract that hog rider. Oh, he's bringing a minion horde. I would place the arrow to take this minion horde out easily. Right now, I'm a regular clinician because my tower is not getting too much damage and he's also not getting that much damage. I place the wall, hog rider and he's trying to defend with the skeleton army. Skeleton army can deal with the hog rider, princess, wizard, no, so not wizard, Pekka very easily. Right now, I have the archers to take them out very easily. Archers can deal with trigon, musketeer, any kind of troop. Archers are one of the great troops in Clash Royale. Now, he has those elixir advantage. I seems to be he has those elixir. I am out of the elixir right now. And he's trying to push with the barbarian. I have the fireball to take this barbarian this time. Because this part, now you can see the barbarians are not at all in a good health to take my tower even to do anything. Because they have any few health left after the fireball has been done. Now I have the 10 seconds left for the 60 second times. Right now I was placing the spear goblin from... Okay, now I was placed the lightning spell because he plays that bomber tower. Lightning spell deals great damage, guys. Lightning spell is one of the great spells of Clash Royale because they deal 3 units away, consequently 3 units. Now I was placing the cannon because he's going to do the same. I thought he might be bringing the skeleton army. Oh yeah, he did the skeleton army. I did not thought that he would bring the minion again because the minion can be easily countered with the arrows. But yes, I fooled him also because I didn't use my arrows right now. And I'm placing the lightning spell again to take. And he's trying to counter with the barbarians. Barbar As I said, barbarians are a great counter unit. And the major archers are going to do great damage to these barbarians. I would fireball these barbarians. And then there is all. He's trying to push back again with the hog rider. And he don't have free spell. Free spell. Oh, he has this free spell. Uh, and he freezes my tower but no damage has been done to my tower as i free spell went wrong he didn't freeze a cannon and we took the lighting spell and we thought that this tower is going to go down no we still have few health left on this tower they're placing we're trying to push hard with the barbarian i have the fireball to take these barbarians out and now i will be arrow the fire tower and there we are we are winning so hope you like to this episode don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you are new here please subscribe to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification so that you can get more clash royale content don't forget to check out the description for the patreon link hope you enjoy and donate me for more kind of stuff like clash royale and clash of clan thank you for watching video clash with sp jack the epic life clashes